when I was a graduate student, we had what were called single pixels. That's a singer, single sensor that is uh, taking data. Uh, sort of like uh, the photo cells that come on at night, you know, um, if you have if you have uh, uh, something to turn on your lights at night, automatically there will be a little sensor and that is a single pixel that is determining whether it's light or dark. Uh, and when it becomes dark, it turns on the light. It uses that information to turn on the light. Well, when I started out, that's what we had was single pixels. And if you wanted to take an image, you went here, 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 here. You know, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking little, single, individual pictures of a, or, or data on an image and then putting it all together in the computer later. Uh, it's a laborious task. With a, a camera, it's easier, except our cameras uh, don't have that many pixels. I have a, an example here of what a, a sensor looks like, a little, a little camera. Now there aren't very many pixels in this, only 65,000. Not even one megapixels worth of pixels, but this is an infrared camera, um, not a visible wave camera. And it's what we used um, with the Spitzer Space Telescope to obtain data. In fact, it's still obtaining data as we speak. Yeah, I, I had been working with with single pixel, single sensors um, in astronomy for a while, in infrared astronomy. And uh, a fellow who was a graduate student in our department was leaving and he was going to work with one of the technology companies on the West Coast. And he said, is there anything I can get for you? And I said, well, send me an array if you can, you know, because none of us had anything like that. The military had some detector arrays, which uh, a detector array is the, the basic focal plane of a camera. Um, but none of us had anything like that in astronomy. And there wasn't one anywhere. And so um, <laughs> one day he called and he said, well, I have something for you. Um, the interesting thing is when we got it and inspected it under a, telesc uh, under a microscope, it said on a tank breaker. And so you knew that it had been developed on their own money um, as a, a, a prototype to show the military, but it was theirs, it wasn't the military, so therefore they were able to give it to us. Now this thing um, did not work perfectly for astronomy. A lot of work had to be done to get it to, to work effectively, but it was only 32 by 32 pixels, that is 1024 uh, pixels. <laughs> a thousandth of a megapixel, in this case, uh, camera. But it was the first camera, and uh, it, it worked in the infrared, and we had it working. We first tried testing it on the small telescope on the top of one of our buildings. It was just a little 12-inch telescope. And, so, and then we also went to observatories other places, for example, in Hawaii, Mexico, etc., Wyoming. So um, we traveled around with our camera, with ever larger and larger detector arrays, and were able to publish um, images of infrared objects. Now, what was the most exciting one? I, it's hard to say. I mean, every, every single time you saw something, it, it, would, be, it would be new. And so it was, it's a little hard to say what was the best. I think the most uh, interesting experience was something that everybody around the world was doing um, and that was um, everyone knew that uh, the the uh, comet shoemaker levy 9 was going to crash into jupiter i mean everybody knew about that believe me there wasn't a telescope anywhere that wasn't so engaged <laughs> around the world was doing it it was very exciting